Greetings Internet, DDA here with the first of a set of local match videos from the comic book store in Glassboro, New Jersey. I started traveling out there and participating in their local tournaments. So this is a friend of mine, Zach Brandall, playing our Red Garlic build that we actually played at Gen Con this year. Facing off against Eric Bentley, a Namekian nail, so he's going to start off here. Uh, start the game, draw three cards, drop down ball uh, ball three, a great pick as a first card draw here. Uh, drawing three cards, I can't really see his hand. Placing two to the bottom, dropping down Namekian Dragon Clan and Heroic Clan, a really strong first turn start here. Milling a card. Zach. Oh, and you know what? Just a, as much of a strong start on Red Garlic's side, dropping both a Red Destiny and a Red Blaze. Four Anger on the table already. But it's lucky that Eric has a strong answer to that with Mechian Dragon Clan. Uh, he can easily pu pull out ball four and kill at least two setups on the board. So he's going to drop Kami. Uh, not really going to help him in this matchup in particular because Red Garlic is not going to really try to beat him down. Or, nor is he going to try to kill that ally. He doesn't really care about Kami's existence. It actually may inevitably hurt him more than um, than help him. So really, wow, just a, just an amazing, I'm going to have to say luck sack draw here. Uh, five setups on the board. What's that, 10 anger? Yeah, 10 anger on the board. So that's two clear levels. That's almost MPBV on the board just now. So already, you know, this is not a good matchup for Namekian in general. Red Garlic has extremely good Dragon Ball control, so which is a really bad matchup for Namekian already. So he's actually going to discard, looks like he's going to discard Namekian Ball 2. Not sure if I would have did that. I think I probably would have kept that in my hand if I was, if I was the Namekian Nail player. So Zach's gonna start out. Uh, he's gonna pick up his three, and looks like I see a Garlic Junior's Counter Blast in his hand. So he's actually gonna initiate combat here. Not uncommon for Garlic to go into combat when he knows he has a strong Stasis hand. Starting off with a Blazing Aura, just saying no damage for the rest of combat. So minus three, minus three means he's at minus four life cards with his level one power and minus three stages on everything. And this is what makes Red Garlic so powerful because um, a lot of decks rely on criticals to be much of their anti-anger and Garlic really combats that by reducing the overall damage the opponent is doing. So shooting off the Dragon Clan here. Uh, Definitely a good play. Definitely going to want to pull out that ball four to somewhat slow down the anger that's about to come at him. So, yep, going to go with the ball four. Now, he does have a heroic plan in play. So, that's going to give him, you know, a toolbox, a lot of options. He can pull out probably a dragon radar, maybe get, maybe get the ball two. Maybe that's why he discarded it. So Zach's up again. Uh, he has one anger. He still hasn't used his power yet. So he's going to shoot off the counter blast for the level. Um, not a bad play. Skipping over his power. Uh, shooting right up. Discarding a card. Dropping the red restraint to gain an anger. And that's one of the another reason why red garlic is so powerful. Because it's just gaining anger from the setups. It's just a lot of passive anger gain that you, your opponent really can't stop or do anything about. So Eric actually did uh, kill both of the red blazes. I'm not sure if I would have chose the red blaze over the red destiny. Uh, red destiny is very key in the garlic in the garlic game because you know the level four does increase all damage done to you so the destiny is really key in that in that it just kind of nullifies your level four power but blaze is a really good choice overall it does give you uh, you know separate anger instances so it can like double activate your three and stuff like that so he's gonna steal his uh, ball three 
uh, with the critical damage effect. Getting a much better hand, looks like a static shot and a stare down. So he is sitting at two anger now, uh, shooting off the onslaught, not going to do any damage with this. He is at minus five life cards and minus five, uh, minus three stages right now. So yeah, no damage coming at him at all, just uh, gaining the anger. So shooting off the stare down, just want to see what's in his hand. Looks like a right throw, a Namekian gut punch. Can't see the third card in his hand. Obviously going to choose the right throw. Gut punch. Oh, I didn't see the third card. <coughs> Static shot. A great card in red overall. A three anger card. One of the only cards in the game. You know, right throw being another one that gains three anger. So fully utilizing all the anger here, you know, nope, can't capture that dragon ball, the Namekian Mastery. Fully utilizing all the anger here, uh, jumping up to level 3. Uh, you can just see the power of Red Garlic, jumping from level 1 to level 3 in the first combat. This is not uncommon. Uh, he hasn't actually used any of his setups yet, although he dropped all of those first turn. He's saving those setups for when he hits 4. Eric, on the other hand, does have that heroic plan in play that is allowing him, you know, giving him some options on the field. He's going to draw a card and discard a card for his mastery. It looks like he drew in a time as a warrior's tool. So choosing to discard the blocking hand, a really tough choice there. Blocking hand, a pretty darn good in this matchup. Nail being a mostly physical personality, blocking hand giving you two anger. But, you know, you can't go wrong with keeping Time as a Warrior's Tool in your hand. So, a really interesting play here. Actually, a really a good play. Uh, killing the, his own Kami to get out Dragon Ball. I'm assuming he's going for Dragon Ball 1 here to protect his, uh, protect his Ball 4. A really, really solid play here. You know, I don't think uh, Zach was going to ever discard the Kami. Yep, getting the ball one, uh, protecting his ball four, protecting his heroic plan from this, the the stealing, the stealing power of uh, Garlic three. Every time Garlic raises an, his anger, his own anger on level three, he captures a Dragon Ball, which actually circumvents the uh, Namekian mastery. <coughs> So really, uh, you know, this isn't a good matchup for Namekian. This is a very unfavorable matchup because of the Garlic 3. And if you face off Garlic, if you're Namekian and you face Garlic, you want to try to keep him on level 2 by bouncing Ball 2 as much as possible. Uh, dropping down the Namekian growth. So really good co first combat for Zack, jumping to level 3. He's going to pass for Juve. Zach's going to draw. It looks like he drew into a red heel kick, a red restriction, another one. And then he has the time. Looks like a red knee lift as well. That's actually a pretty decent hand. Knee lift will actually steal both Dragon Balls because he can steal one from the crit because he has two and then the crit will raise his anger. And then steal the second. So single action, he can take two Dragon Balls. Pretty powerful. So he's actually really debating here whether or not he wants to enter. Um, Garlic is usually a very passive deck. Uh, we played not uh, eleven. No, actually 12 planning cards in this deck, so going very aggressive garlic here, entering twice on the opponent.
starting off with the Destiny, just really wanting to say no damage, getting the Captured Dragon Ball from his level 3 ability. So everything is at minus 4, minus 4 right now. Probably would have started off with the knee lift there instead. I mean, he already had his level 3 power reducing damage. He would have had to do a, maybe a 9 life card attack to even possibly do critical damage to him. He didn't even have any anger anyway, so... I think stealing both Dragon Balls to immediately kill the two setups in play was probably the better play. Eric does have those two setups in play, so... He still has the option, uh, those options on the field. I haven't seen Dragon Radar hit the hit the game yet, so that that is there. Using the dashing attack to steal back the ball one. Sadly, this is just going to do very little damage. Yep, everything's minus four, minus four, so. Looks like it, it would do a six and one. So only two stages. So shooting off heel kick, raising anger, getting another capture, reducing anger, and then, you know, definitely grabbing the static shot, a three anger card. He doesn't have the block. This looks to be going not very well for Eric right now. I think. Uh, Zack is at one anger, only at one anger right now. He did just reduce his anger two to use the ability of red heel kick. So the static shot is three anger. He has four anger on the field with destiny. Very close to MPPV. Shooting off the target strike, just hoping to to snag that ball three ability, maybe get a better hand than he has now. It's just so sad that we know that he has that time as warriors till he got that last combat. Yep, there's that knee lift. So that's gonna give him an extra anger. He's gonna steal the ball four, kill the two setups. Now granted, that was probably going to inevitably happen anyway, uh, so maybe pulling the Dragon Radar from his deck was not the best move. Things are looking pretty grim right now. Uh, if he doesn't have a block to answer this, that's going to give him another 3 anger. Yep, so going to take the damage, uh, jump up, he was at 2 anger, so now that hits 5, jumping up to 4. I think he has a red restriction in his hand, so he's gonna, yep. So he's gonna start, yep, with one anger. And that means he has five anger on the board. Overall, you know, just showing the power of red garlic. Uh, showing how quick that anger can just run away with the game. Really good match by both players.